Authorities in Texas say that more than two dozen suspected migrants were arrested at a ranch near the U.S.-Mexico border. Uh, our Leland Vitter joining us live with more on this. You've spoken to uh, a lot of officials there. You've actually traveled with the Border Patrol. What can you tell us now? Adrian, this really speaks to just how overwhelmed the Border Patrol is. And when we were down there uh, last month doing the show from the border, we started calling it not the Border Patrol, but the Border Processing Agents, because they have become so overwhelmed by the tens of thousands of migrants that come across every month. The Border Patrol basically just accepts people and starts processing them so that they can make their asylum claims. And if it's family units, even if they're not claiming asylum, Oftentimes, these families are just released into the United States. Tens of thousands every month are released into the United States after turning themselves into Border Patrol. Because Border Patrol is so overwhelmed, the cartels are using other smuggling routes and are able to get more people through. And that's where the video you're seeing now comes in. These are private ranches along the Rio Grande River. And the Texas Department of Public Safety has basically now taken it upon themselves because the Border Patrol is overwhelmed and not really doing much. They've started their own operation called Operation Lone Star, where the Texas Department of Public Safety, the Texas Rangers are out on their own in these ranches trying to find the people who are really sneaking into the United States. In those groups, they are finding convicted felons, they're finding sex offenders, they are finding cartel members on these ranches. And rather than just processing them and releasing like the Border Patrol does, they're capturing them, arresting them, and holding them in jail until either they can be deported or charged with more serious crimes. Take a listen to the head of the Texas Department of Public Safety's group down on the border, Lieutenant Chris Oliveras, who we talked to on the show Friday. When they send a group of families, and children, it's going to tie up resources, federal resources. So what that does, it allows these cartels to move drugs across the river and also single adults that are coming across, criminal gang members. As you, as you showed there, the drugs that have been seized by U.S. Border Patrol, those are drugs that are coming across the river because the fact that these cartels are operating with impunity right now because they feel with the lax border policies, they're taking full advantage of, of this current crisis right now. Yeah, and in terms of the numbers here, you think about the 200,000 or so a month that are coming across the border. Those are the ones we know about, Adrian. What's so scary in all these situations is that for every group you see arrested and every convicted felon or sex offender that they know that they've recaptured coming across the border, they say statistically there's at least one to one and a half that have gotten away. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.